trail. Well, so in preparation for our trip in September, I wanted to see not only if it was possible, but more if it was safe to drive and fly the drone at the same time. Ah! Needless to say, this turned out to be quite the challenge. All right, so today we're going on an adventure. We're gonna try something. Um, something that I have been curious about for a long time. Now, I don't know what type of YouTube content that you watch or channels or particular people that you might follow. I mean, other than, you know, us, of course. Um, but I watch a lot of overlanding content um, from people like Justin McBride and Jev and Dovey and KC250 in your bigger channels like Trail Recon and Revere Overland and Baptism Overland, which by the way, if you haven't seen it, they have a new movie out on Baptism Overland, which is actually really cool. But anyways, my biggest beef that I have with watching these is, I'm sure you watch them for the entertainment value. You know, where they go, what they do, what they get into, and, and yeah, there, there's a lot of entertainment value to be had in those videos, but I watch them to dissect them. I watch them to see what it is that they're doing um, in their videos that, you know, gets them 20, 30, 40, 50,000 views, and my videos get 1,000 views, so, you know, I... I do kind of dissect them, but one of the things that I have a real problem with is the footage. Now, how do you get the cinematic footage and the epic shots while driving when they're by themselves? Now, I want you to think about that for a second completely by themselves even when they're in a group right you got a group of four rigs there's four people which means there's four drivers and yet they're still flying the drone and they're still getting aerial footage and, and they're still getting all of these really cool shots and I'm trying to figure out how they're doing that so the only thing that I can think of legitimately is that they're flying their drone or they're taking these shots with their cameras while they're driving. Well, I don't know about you, but that seems a little dangerous in my particular opinion, especially when you're off-road or on a trail that you don't know. You gotta be paying attention to what's in front of you. So how are you doing that and flying a drone at the same time? Well, don't get me wrong, I've had some really epic shots in some of my videos as well, like this one when we were out in Colorado. Or even this one when I first got the drone and we were just out playing with it. But when I took those shots, either my wife was driving or my daughter was driving or or Chris was driving or somebody else was driving the Jeep and I was sitting shotgun flying the drone so that I could make sure that I could get the good shots. So today, I'm gonna try this. We're gonna go out to the desert and we are going to attempt to fly the drone while we're driving all by ourselves and see if we can actually succeed in getting these shots because either these guys are not alone and they have somebody filming for them or they're just so multi-talented it's just not even funny now there's all kinds of different shots that you can do okay um for example we're pulling onto the trailhead. So you've got this shot of driving onto the trailhead and towards the camera. And then you got this shot driving away from the camera because you're furthering down the trailhead. 
and onto the actual trail. And then of course, you've got this shot, which is just a side profile. You've got this really cool shot from a low angle. And then you've got this shot where you get to see the underworkings of the Jeep. But you know what? I can do all of that with a tripod. Here's my issue. Every one of those videos, they talk about they don't have enough time to accomplish what it is they're trying to accomplish. Well, duh, just to do those four shots for you took me nearly 45 minutes worth of getting out, setting up the tripod, doing it again, resetting the tripod, backing up, backtracking, resetting the tripod in order just to get those shots. Well, if you wanna cover some actual distance, then how do you justify stopping every you know what 20 30 feet or whatever to set up another tripod just so that you could drive by it so using a drone makes sense because you can move with a moving camera and you can continue along your business so those shots are easy all right i can stop every 10 minutes and i can set up a tripod that's fine but flying the drone while i'm driving i don't think i can do that but we're gonna give it a shot. So come on, let's go give this a shot. Sure, let's just add more challenge to what we're doing today. It's raining, it's the desert. Why is it raining in the desert? weird turn of events it is no longer raining it is actually snowing and it's actually snowing pretty hard up here according to my radio I'm only 3600 feet above sea level it doesn't seem like it would be high enough elevation for it to be snowing can we even put the drone up in the air in this weather all right so in order to test this theory, I am using the uh, DJI Mavic Air 2S. Um, I do not have the smart controller, so I do gotta use my cell phone for the controller. Um, it is snowing a little bit, which is, again, weird weather, but um, should be fine. Let's get the drone up in the air, and let's see if we can drive and control it at the same time. We're recording. Let's see if we can do this. And we're driving. Actually, you know this isn't so bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going, dude? Whoa. Let's see. I mean, granted, I'm only moving 12 miles an hour, but. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. No, no, no. I understand. Oh, there we go. Okay. I mean, I guess this isn't too bad. I mean, it helps that this is a straight road. All right, but this is this is just a shot from behind. I mean, that's easy to do. I'm flying in the same direction that I'm driving. What if turn it around and I want to fly backwards and stare at the Jeep this would get annoying because I'd have to stop and reset it let's see There we go. 
go. <laughs> and down just a little bit. All right. So if I move towards it, see, it's supposed to have obstacle avoidance. So technically, if I set it right here and drive towards it, it should move backwards on its own, right? Uh, that would be a negative there, Chief. Okay, so a little more altitude. There we go. I'd actually have to fly it backwards while I'm driving towards it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit! Ah! I almost hit my own drone. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a bush there. Oh, there we go. Other way. There we go. All right, so let's actually record. Let's get some altitude. Let's look down. Well, oh, that's right, because I can change the camera angle. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I stole the Jeep out. Is it because I'm doing it with a manual shift? Is that why? Oh, 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 shoot. Wow, that is extremely difficult. All right. So, let's get some altitude. Let's turn her around. Let's back up. There we go. Wait a minute. Doesn't this thing have the ability to track you? How do we do that? <sighs> Unable to use... Why? Ah! Ah. Where did the stupid drone go? Where did I go? What the hell? Now it's just following me, so that's easy. I like it. Beep, 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 beep. What the hell does that mean? The battery's dead again? God, that's my second battery in like, what, 25 minutes? Oh, fine, bring the drum back down. Oh yes, that would be epic, just like that. Oh, that's a great shot. Oh crap, I forgot to hit record. Oh. Well, thank goodness this is a channel for beginners. Good Lord. You know, it's a good thing that there's nobody else out here. If I had a group, this would be really frustrating. Okay. Exit out of you, go like this. Let's get a little closer. Whoa, 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 maybe not quite that close. And highlight, skip, close, active shots. Go. Too bad. A lot 
gosh, a lot of, lot of stuff going on. My hands, ow, whoa, rock, damn it. Alright, so I definitely want to give a shout out to you guys who do this professionally on YouTube and are out filming these epic adventures. To fly this, control this, and drive that at the same time is actually quite the challenge. Um, I can see how with a little bit of practice this is definitely doable, especially with the features that this will actually track and follow. I guess I got to play with those a little bit more. Maybe I just need a little bit more experience, but um, I'm actually going to put her away at this point. She's a little wet. I've gone through uh, the battery life that I have, but um, definitely a shout out to you guys who do this because that that is not easy. All right, so let me ask you, when you watch some of these other videos, some of these epic adventures that are out there. Do you wonder how they get those shots as well? Now this trip that we have set up for September this year, we're gonna have probably six or seven rigs out on the trail. We're gonna be out there for days, um, probably a little bit more than a week. We'd love to get some of these amazing aerial shots and some of these amazing um, images so that sharing it with you would be a lot more exciting and a lot more fun and a lot more interactive. But is it really advantageous to try to fly the drone? Um, 
by yourself while you're driving and you're alone? Or is it advantageous to stop every 15 minutes so that you can set up a tripod and get another angle of the group driving by? So here, you tell me. Put it down in the comments below and tell me what you think. Is it worth it? Is it really possible? Or should I make sure that I have extra non-driving people with me in order to control the camera equipment? I'm kind of curious what you think. So even though the weather's a little weird, it's snowing and cloud cover out here in the desert, which is bizarre. Um, I'm glad I had the opportunity to get out here and give this a shot. and. I don't know. I'd say I'd call this a little bit of a success. Um, I did get some pretty cool footage. What do you think? And like I said, put it down in the comments below and let me know what you think is really going on in some of these epic adventures that are on some of these channels. In the meantime, folks, once again, my name is Josh. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Jeeping for Beginners. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'll try to answer them best I can. Uh, in the meantime, I've gotten myself kind of lost out here. So I'm going to try to find my way home and uh, get dinner made for the kids. So stay safe, happy Jeeping, and we will see you next time.